and you're not worried about with all of these different yeasts coming in that something might come in that's going to send the fermentation awry, that's going to microbially uh, um, send the wine in, in the wrong direction? That's a, a common fear. Um, I've never had a single issue with that. Um, you know, it's one of those things where if you have balanced grapes and the grapes are healthy, you're not going to have a problem. I have uh, issues more with bacteria causing those kind of things, so I don't have issues with it. Uh, but most people have issues with the bacteria causing those things, not necessarily the yeast. So when you think of typical spoilage, uh, most of that comes from bacteria, not yeast. So is that grapes that, that weren't that clean coming in or, or something in the winery? or Exactly. So damaged fruit coming in, uh, bird damage, damage from bees, damage from turkeys, you know, anything that will break open the skins will allow bacteria to get going on there. And you bring that in and introduce that to fer fermentations and uh, the populations can be high enough to cause problems. Um, am I worried about yeast causing those problems? Typically not. Um, Cholechera is one of the main characters uh, that, you know, that has a, a big role in this. They have big populations out in the vineyard. So when they come in and they start fermenting the lots initially, um, we always see their sign signature coming through. And that signature is uh, aromatics of ethyl acetate or vinyl, like getting into a, a new car, that new car kind of smell. Um, we always know that the fermentation is just getting started when we start seeing those characteristics coming out when you open a tank. Now those characteristics blow off and uh, you know a quarter of the way through the fermentation you can't smell that anymore. Um, but that's that's the indicator that the, the yeast are alive and well and kicking and the fermentation is on its way.